song for the stars of the night, for the chefs and their dishes, cause by after bite we've dribbled and drooled, or at least I have, over all this cuisine, about a selection of food I have not seen. The broth was not spoiled despite so many cooks, plenty in fact, and that's nearly as many chefs as there are Gordon Ramsay cookbooks. And thank fuck he's not here at this classy affair. It's not the right place to hear somebody swear. Although, watch out for Claude Bosey, cause I'd take a punt if you find him on Twitter, he'll call you a very, very nice person, actually. Eating here tonight at Four Seasons Park Lane. Whichever chef you got, you cannot complain. So sit back and digest and think of how cool it is to have at home a chef as good as Bruce Poo. So let's not go too far or go over the top. I accept they are talented and they know how to chop. They know how to boil and to season and fry and to look for the freshest ingredients to buy that will go well with game of tasty pheasant or grouse. But do you really want them to come round your house? Eric Chavo, for example, he seems nice and friendly, but loves effing and blinding when on morning telly. Sally Clark, oh she's a tyrant. I almost forgot she'll cook what she wants, whether you like it or not. If you want Richard Corrigan, I think you should know that he's a big Believer in food that is slow. <laughs> but sadly, that means that he's always late. Just something you need to know if you don't like to wait. When you're bidding here tonight at Four Seasons Park Lane, so get your wallet out and please don't refrain from spending lots of money. Just ignore their swearing and you can end up with your own marker swearing. Or Bjorn Reisenberg or Ashley Palmer Watts or Big Verena Becker if you'd like his pots. To clutter up your kitchen, his equipment list is long. He nearly needs as many things as equipment, King Chef Tong. Perhaps you'd like Brett Graham to come round and cook your greens. Or make a bid for Lawrence Keogh, I've heard he's great with kidney beans. Jason Atherton's very social and Peter Gordon's into fusion. But if you like old gas gun cooking, Kaufman's a foregone conclusion. You get two for the price of one with the brothers from La Chapelle. Then there's only one Angela Harnett, but she's got an MBE as well. John Tarot ain't cooking dinner, he's just here to stand and talk. So why not try Bruno Lube? He does a fat grilled loin of pork. If you've never been to Harry's bar, then the body you should choose. Or show Caprice and change your mind and be cooked for by Tim Hughes. Mark Hicks, I haven't mentioned. And if I don't, he'll be annoyed. Cause his cooking is to die for. Well, at least according to Keith Floyd. So there's your 20 chefs who will cook for you your dinner. A bid for any of them already means you've backed a winner. This really is a great cause, and I can see that you're all itching to thrust open your bank accounts to let them loose inside your kitchen. Just a word of warning, I don't know if I should say, but I saw them all in Tesco's earlier. There's a branch just down the way. They bought bags and bags of meat and veg, 
It was the food for your main course. So if you wondered why it tasted odd, don't worry, it's just horse.